Hey guys, how are you? It started with Stampa with Chaos. It is Monday evening and I am doing some late night crafting. I'm getting ready for my card class, which is Sunday. Um, I pretty much have a full house. I have seven people signed up to do it, so I'm super duper excited. Um, one of the cards we're going to be doing is called a slimline card, and I've never done one of these before. I usually kind of do the basic five and a half by four and a quarter size. This one is actually eight and a half by three and a half. Uh, super cute so it's the long it's a long card so this is what I'm going to show you how to do tonight um, it's a it's a pretty easy card but it's using some of our newer um, DSP that we that came out in our catalog the wildly flowering love 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 this different paper and um, there's so I, I this paper is one of those packs that you'll use every one of them I guarantee it um, I can't wait so I'm gonna go ahead and put you down and we will get you started. So I went ahead and did all the cutting so it would go a little bit faster. So this is our Mossy Meadow and it's our card base and I cut it eight and a half by seven and then I scored it at three and a half. Okay, and then I want to get it really good fold. I cannot find my good bo bone folder. I'm going to have to dig a little bit harder here. Okay, so then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our strip of our wild, uh, our DSP. It's double-sided, not pretty. You could do either the mauves. You could actually put the mauve on there too. Super pretty, but I'm going to go with this. I love this wild wheat color. Um, So the DSP for the front is eight and a quarter by three and a quarter, just so you leave a little bit of border for that, uh, a little bit of border on that, a little bit of edge. I'm a little bit off tonight. <laughs> I came home from work. I don't know why, I, I stay up super late, but man, at about two o'clock, I hit a wall at work every flipping day. I'm gonna start taking coffee in the afternoon. Um, so then tonight, Paul was cooking dinner. And so I said, you know, I'm just gonna, I said, visited with him for a while. So I'm just gonna go lay down for just a few minutes. Oh my gosh, I fell asleep and woke up at, I think at 7.30. I fell asleep at like, I laid down about, I don't know, it was quarter to six. Yeah, I feel good, but now I'm wide awake. I'm like <laughs> this. So I may be up a little bit later tonight, but I feel better. And you know what? Hey, what's wrong with taking a nap at my age? I think it's okay. I think it's just perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna take this other DSP. This is also a different side of it. Same same paper, uh, same paper pack. And I cut this at two inches wide by seven and three quarters. And it is going to go right, right there. So we're gonna go ahead and put that down. I just love these colors. The um the colors that cordis correspond with this uh, DSP pack is the crumb cake, which is this color, the early espresso, which is a darker, the darker brown, um, the misty moonlight, which is this blue, moody mauve, which is the pink that I showed you right here, and mossy meadow, which is the green, and then the wild wheat, which is the gold. Love, love, love this paper pack. Probably going to have to get another pack just to keep it around. I really like it. Okay, so then with that being said, we're done with that. Then we're going to take some of our baker's twine or whatever you have laying around. We're going to use baker's twine. And you are going to lap it around twice, and then we're going to tie a bow. And this, for me, is always a little bit tricky. So, and I always do it a little bit longer. And you kind of want the bow to be... Um, we're going to space these out. So you kind of want the bow to be in between them. So, and we should be able to move it if we don't quite get it right in the right spot that we want it. I had to move it the last one I did. Okay, let's wrap it twice. Okay, and then I'm going to cut this a little bit longer in case I have to, um, in case I want to move it. I probably waste more than I'm supposed to, but I don't know. I have fat, short little fingers, and sometimes I just have to work with it. Okay. Yeah. I 
I probably made it too long and that's probably why I'm having a little bit of an issue here. That's okay. We're gonna just wrap it around. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. Get it down here about where we want it. Wrap it again. And let's tie a flipping bow. And what I've started doing is I've been trying to get it to where I want it. Then I tie a knot so I can get it in place and then I can play with my bow. Because I'm not real good at bows. So it gives me a little bit of... There we go. Let's see. Let's get that. Okay. So we're going to do that. Tie our bow. And then I'm going to go ahead and trim the edges now. Okay. You can always put a little glue dot down if you need to hold that down. Okay, then we have our little white pieces. And we are going to stamp on these using our Wildflower Designs uh, clean stamp set. So that's the stamp set we're going to use. And I used, I went ahead and stamped, stamped in the Mossy Meadow. And I just had to re-ink this. I haven't re-inked any of mine. So I'm going to try it. We may have to do this. There we go. There we go. And I tried it with the... Uh, these are actually darker than the ones I I got, but we're gonna go ahead and, let me see. I think it'll still look good with the dark. Um, I'm gonna use my blending pen because it is so dark on the green parts. And then, um, see how it just brings out the color? I love the bend blending pen. Um, I really like it. I wish I, yeah, I tried the, uh, what do you call those thinking things? I'm kind of brain dead right now. The Stampin' Blends, and it just, to me, it was just too much. So um, I actually, on the car, first card that I did, I used our watercolor pencils. And that's what I'm going to use on the heads of the flowers. So there's, a, you know, there's so many different variations of what you could do. Um, so I use the blending pen. You can use the stamping blends or you could use your colored pencils whatever works for you oh and I hear my dogs there must be cats next door they're irritating them they get up there and they stare at them because they know they can't get to them and then they tease them okay so I'm just gonna color the heads of these. You could actually color them different colors if you wanted to do one in the Moody Mauve, one in the one in the um, boho, not boho blue, misty moonlight blue. Um, there's just it, ah, it. There are just so many different things you can do with it. And I'm gonna tell you once again. I know you've heard me tell you this like a million times, but that is what I love about Stampin' Up is everything coordinates. Your colors coordinate. Your paper coordinates. Your stamps coordinate. So that makes it pretty awesome. Okay, so let's pop these up. I'm gonna use the bigger dimensionals. Um, and I'm not gonna put one in the middle because we have the we have the uh, string going through there, the twine going through there. So I'm just gonna pretty much put them up in a, like on the points and then maybe up higher than the middle and then right below the middle, but not in the middle. Cause you, it's hard to, oops, where's my ink? Yeah, it's hard to pop them up. So I'm gonna put the string hopefully right between, right between them. How are you guys liking this crazy weather? I am just, I mean, I don't like heat, like heat, heat, the 100 degree heat, so. But, you know, the 80s would be nice or 75. But, holy cow, I'm still wearing my long sleeve shirts to work. When I leave for work, it's like 45, 50 degrees in the morning. And it's been really good for the electricity bill because I haven't had to have an air conditioner on very much. 
Okay, so we are going to, let's do this one in the middle for, no, I'm not. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to take the plunge. I love this. I love this card. I think I will end up making it probably in every color. You know how sometimes you just find the, find the color. So did you all see we I have a new grandbaby? I'm so excited. She's in the NICU, but she's doing really, really good. Her blood sugars have finally leveled out, so they're not worried about that anymore. And um, she was four weeks early. And so the only thing they're kind of worried about now or watching her is they still have the feeding tube. They want her to be able to thrive, get the thrive for eating and being able to um you know, to be able to eat on her own. So, but they sent me a picture of her today and she was actually her sucking on her, on her, uh, pass. She was sucking on a pacifier, which is a really, really good sign. So, um, we're hoping she won't be in there much longer. Uh, we are so blessed. She, and her mama is such a trooper. I tell you that girl's been, that girl's been, been through a lot. And to watch your son, to watch Adrian, with her it just warms my heart. He is such a good daddy and a good husband. I'll tell you, he has been right by her side the whole time. And so being that they don't live here, I will probably run up hopefully on Friday and be able to go up and get a quick peek on her. And just to go see her and give hugs, make sure everybody's okay. But this is number so this is actually number 15 for me and Paul, but we've also taken two other ones that kind of kind of took them under our wing. They kind of adopted us. They started calling us, uh, they were at a lot of our family functions with one of the families and started calling us Grandma Darla and Papa Paul. And so we just kind of took them under our wing as well. And so we have 17. <laughs> In our eyes, we have 17. So uh, yeah, so exciting though. So, so exciting. Isn't that cute? Okay, the only other thing I'm going to do to the outside of it is I'm going to go ahead and add some doodads. You could add them anywhere you wanted. Um, I'm just going to add them in the, co the corners. This is called our adhesive back textured dots. I love these. I love these. So, and the other thing I like about these is you can use these for guy cards. They don't have a lot of stuff for guy cards in... So when when they do get stuff for guide cords, I usually uh, I usually end up buying a little bit extra just because they don't have a lot for it. So I added a couple doodads. There we go for the outside, and the inside we took a piece of white cardstock, which is uh, eight and a quarter by three and a quarter, and we are just going to stamp on it. And this is also using the same stamp set, Wildflower Designs, and we're going to use the Sending Happy Thoughts. I love the font to this stamp set as well. Okay, I'm going to, remember how I got the glass mat? So I'm going to try this out and see to make sure I don't have any edges around it. And I don't. So now before I put my arms in it, I'm going to wipe it off. Okay. Okay. So that will work. So I'm going to just do it real easy. And then we're going to bring this down here and line it up on the lines. And you know, I just wing it, you guys. You could get really particular and major and do all that. I just, I don't. I probably should, but I don't. So. Feel free to uh, take out your, use your ruler or whatever. Make sure you get it centered. Okay, then we're going to slap this puppy down. And I thought it needed a little bit more color on the inside. And I didn't know if I wanted to go around the edges. But what I ended up doing was just taking two little strips that are um, one and a half inch by three and three and a quarter. And I'm just going to add them to the inside of the card. Isn't that cute? You could actually even put the mauve one in there if you wanted to, but 
I'm going to do the gold. And there you go. Whoops. Whoops. I'm off a little bit here. Oh, perfect. And I'm not at 20 minutes. There we go. And then we're going to do the other one on the other side. I did order some slimline envelopes, so I will have envelopes available to go with these cards as well. Um, love making them. There we go. Super duper easy. Oh, and I did cut these out using, I guess I should probably tell you which, uh, using the Wildflower Design design dies. So I, and that was actually the inside is what I ended up using. So that's how we made these little white things. Forgot to tell you about that. So anyways, there you go. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day today, um, which will be tomorrow. And uh, I look forward to talking to you again. I hope you have a great night. Thank you. This is Darta with Stampa with Chaos.